Hello and happy Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. It's your girl Marie Milagros here. And during the month of February, we're obviously, obviously because of marketing in the media, talking about love. Uh, so for the beginning half of the month, we're doing a love journey. And for the beginning half, and by we, I mean myself in my households and the women who decided to join. Um, the beginning half of the month, we've been focusing on self-love and honoring, listening, taking care of here so that when we move into our lives and we give, we're doing so from a place of overflow. So that we're doing that from a place of not needing you to give me back in return because I got all this extra. So here, just take the extra. And doing it also from a place where I'm not later going to resent doing it, right? Um, and in order to do that, we have to make sure that we keep our cups full. Now, that being said, it is imperative that we self-love and that we take care of ourselves. The ultimate responsibility for this is mine, is yours, right? For yourself is you. And other people can and should be contributing to, you know, a health and happiness and support and love and joy and peace and laughter and all that good stuff. Absolutely. But it's not their responsibility, just to be clear, right? It's ours. So, we harness, take care, do the work here first, and then we're able to give from our overflow. So this week we're talking about sharing love, and I'm going to give you three quick tips that you can start implementing immediately, if not sooner, to help share love. Now, the reason why um, sharing love is also important is because anytime that we feel like we need something, one of the things that we can do is to become that thing and share that thing, and then it fills us up in a way that we no longer need it because because we are it, right? I hope that makes sense. So in other words, if you're thinking about like sharing love, right? Or love and you're like, oh, I wish I had more connections to people and I wish I had more love. Well, then you, rather than wait for someone to come and rescue you, you are your hero. Become love and go out into the world and into your home because so many people go into the world and share love and compassion and sympathy and they don't do it in their own home. Notice how my tone changed? Yeah, because I feel this. When I when I meet people and out in the world, they're these glorious, passionate, you know, peaceful, loving, caring people. And then I hear the way they talk to their kids or their spouse. I'm like, time. Y'all missing it. Y'all miss it. Like, I appreciate what you're doing out there, but if you have to do it in your home first and foremost. This home first, this home second. And then this home, meaning the planet Earth and our whole community of all of our brothers and sisters that we share the Earth with, third. One, two, three, right? Because otherwise, the truth is you're not living a congruent life and that's exhausting for people. Okay, so let me back it up. What I want you to do, uh, or rather, it's a suggestion, I'm just your guide, three things that I'm going to give you today in order for you to start sharing more love. The first is to share appreciation. So you tell people that you appreciate them and then you tell them why. That's the bonus. You have to tell them why. Email, text, put it in a card, put it in a letter. I think that that's super sweet. I do that all the time. I love cards and letters. I love mailing them to people. And I know people get excited because they tell me when they get a card and it's like a little love letter. Like, I appreciate you and here's why. I hope you're having a great day. Oh my God, you took the time and like, oh, they get so excited. And it's something that they can put on their wall. They can put it in their pocket, you know, keep it in their wallet, whatever. So I'm old school like that. That's how I roll. But you can do it any way you want. You can do 10 people a day. You can do one person a day. Do people at home. Do people at work. Do people at the gym. Do like the random guy at the supermarket who is always smiling, right? And every time you walk in and you catch his smile, it makes you smile. I appreciate you. And here's why right? Great way to share love is to share appreciation because those two are like married. Um, the second way is to, when you're listening to someone, allow yourself to really be aware of when you are holding on to any judgment and then suspend that judgment, just surrender it so that you can really listen, not from your own filters, not from your own place, but from their story and their perspective. So you can really be there for them. I remember this woman um, came up to me and she asked me about something very specific. So I started answering and I was just so excited to talk about it. And she's like, well, that wasn't my experience at all. And did it, then why are you come over here? You're looking for, you, I said it to her, are you, oh, so you're looking for confirmation for your experience and you're probably looking for some kind of fight because you didn't really ask me that question to listen to me. You asked me that question with an agenda right? So we want to make sure that when we're listening to people, that we're doing it 
not with an agenda. Surrender your own agenda. Surrender your own stuff. Surrender your own filters. And just really be there for that person. It, really listening to someone else is such a gift of love because it opens up room for growth, for expansion, for just knowing that we're building a rapport because you actually listen to me and you're not like telling me what I should and shouldn't do or judging, right? And then another piece of that is to ask clarifying questions. When you're not really sure what someone's saying and it triggers something in you that creates an assumption, ask a clarifying question. Like, what did you mean by that? Did you mean this or did you mean that? Right? And you can even say, because when I hear that, I think of and they go, oh no, that's not really listening, right? Really listening. It's such a gift. And then the third is hug. Hug another human. Wake up in the morning and hug your family. Hug your cat. Hug your dog. Hug your guinea pig. Just hug. Make contact with other living beings. If you're not the kind of person who goes around hugging strangers, I get it. I used to not be a hugger. Now I am a bona fide hugger, right? The other part that I do just want to kind of give you a little warning, warning, just because you're a hugger doesn't mean everybody else is. Always offer a hug first. Never just assume that everybody wants one because you enjoy them and throw yourself on other people. We don't know their traumas. We don't know their past. We don't know their history. We don't know what they're going through on that day. Always offer first. And if they say no, say, okay, I hope you have a great day. High five, right? Don't take it personal. Chances are it has nothing to do with you unless you have some hygiene issues. True story. <laughs> Unnecessary? Maybe. But I'm trying to keep it real with you. Okay. So share appreciation and why. Um, listen without judgment and share a hug. Three great ways to share love with other people in your life and around you and to make the planet a smaller place and to take ownership for our own happiness and love and joy and connection and to live a super speckly everything life. That's not a real song, but it's going to be. Somebody needs to write me a theme song for super speckly everything. I prefer a little hip hop, you know, a little R&B. That's my edge. Okay. I got to focus. That's all I have for you. I hope you have a great rest of your week, weekend, and next week. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, put in the comments, how you share love with the people in your home at work or in your life, little things that you do here and there to help share love and, you know, contribute to love on the planet. And if you haven't already, what you waiting for? Subscribe. If you know someone who can benefit from it, please share this. I don't know where I'm going to put the subscribe button. Um, but if you haven't already subscribe, share, comment, like, super sparkly everything. Us. I'm giving you a hug virtually. I love you. Okay. Peace.